forget everything that you ever thought you knew about Notion. Now, while most of you are familiar with the basics, today I'm gonna expose the majority of you who don't understand and don't know there's a bunch of use cases that can actually transform Notion from your normal, everyday, note-taking app into a business-changing powerhouse. Now, as you all know, inside of Notion, you can do so many cool things with it. Marketers can track campaigns across various platforms, Product managers can connect customer feedback directly to feature development. Bloggers can turn draft ideas into published posts without ever leaving their workflow. So I've tested literally hundreds of productivity systems, and I'm about to show you how a few different game-changing improvements can be found that you're probably not even aware of. And if you're tired of data silos and endless app switching, you're gonna love this. So as we know, Notion is essentially a tool that allows you to interact with a few different things. If you're new to the channel, obviously I cover Notion. It's a pretty popular product. It's an all-in-one digital command center pretty much, but it essentially includes pages that can turn into databases and the blocks on the pages are the text you interact with. And then those are what you interact with the most period of time. And it's a pretty simple and effective product because of the reason that you can click around and it's so easy to use. For me, in my system, I have so many different places that I can go with this. I have a client CRM. I have a content calendar for my own YouTube channel. I have every task that you could ever imagine across all of the people inside of my company. There's so many things here. As you can see, I have every video that I've ever made, which is pretty much <laughs> an infinite amount of them. It's actually nearly a thousand. I'm getting up to video a thousand on my YouTube channel. And it's a really simple and easy setup, but sometimes that's not enough. I need more enhanced capabilities. I need a better front end interface. I need to show this to clients without it getting all weird and jumbled. And there's just a lot of ways that Notion could be better. It's sharing capabilities are pretty bad. I'm not a huge fan of that. And the same goes for my CRM. I have a lot of really cool setups for things like my CRM and as I showed previously, my project and task management. But a lot of problems come up in sharing with multiple users in load times. There are so many different problems, but I can show you there's actually a tool that makes this so much easier. I can simply log into WhaleSync and connect any of these different things. For example, if I go to New Sync and I just go to Notion and I press Authorize, what I can do is I can select the specific pages that I want. So Notion, like I said, is set up in databases. So I can just grab some of the databases, like my content calendar, first and foremost, and I can sync it to something like Airtable. Now, why would I want to do this? Well, that's because Airtable is a really good tool for those of us who want to then integrate it with tools like NoLoco or other sites. As mentioned previously, load times in Notion are so bad, and I can have it set up new tables that make it really simple and easy to sync those two different pages together so I can interact with Notion, put it into Airtable, and then have a front end experience in something like NoLoco to share it with people. So once I press this sync here, I can create a table that would sync everything inside of Notion to Airtable. And then the same goes for my CRM. I can keep this view internal and then share what really matters into a front end solution inside of WhaleSync. Because like I said, Airtable to my understanding is a more stable tool, is a better tool that connects with a lot of these front end tools like NoLoco. And as you can see right here, it's getting started. It's got the couple properties that I want to sync over there to my front end view, and I can actually sync it over. So as you can see, it's just going to take a few moments and it'll move everything over. And look at that. We already have it inside of Airtable actually didn't take too long whatsoever. Considering how many records I have, this is, is pretty quick. So I could make some views in here. I could simply turn this into a different calendar view, or I could just keep this data here. It's kind of up to you. And now inside of a tool like NoLoco, which is a really cool portal system, what I can do is I could set up something like a new content calendar that essentially can just import that Airtable base. All right. Now, what's really cool is it's actually able to analyze everything that's in here in this Airtable table. And sure, there are really nice templates you can use from NoLoco and other tools like that. But this is actually setting it up automatically with AI, which is really cool. So you can see right here, 
this is something of a YouTube content calendar that immediately I can share with the public. As you can see right here, I can literally just go to publish, press this copy URL, and immediately people can see my content calendar. And for say example, I wanna add uh, new team members and I wanna have a system where everything is up to date from a CRM standpoint, I can have the CRM in here too. This actually was synced with another CRM that I have inside of Notion. You'll see here, this is a very basic Kanban board type of CRM, right? With your standard different properties like estimated value and email and who owns the account. But from here, I can have all of those different tables aggregated into a single app and it was all through the power of taking a whale sync and syncing it inside of Airtable, which can connect to these front end applications. Because Notion, quite frankly, doesn't have these capabilities. It's slow, it's clunky, and you can't connect it via the API to a lot of tools because they don't want to deal with that. But nicely enough, WhaleSync can connect those things. So imagine not only this CRM, but this task management system, this timeline system that I have with project management, the CRM that I have, the, for example, I have team and dashboard, right? These are different contractors and team members I work with. Take this and put it entirely inside of no loco so that notion doesn't load so dang slow instead. This is what we really want. We want a back end and front end that work in harmony. And I'm not just telling you this because of the fact that I'm saying I dislike notion or something. I do like Notion, I like working in it for me, but sometimes I wanna share this with clients. We have an entire client base here, and fact of the matter is, I don't want to have to share this portal system like I do in here. This portal system I have made inside of Notion isn't great, but I wanna keep the data in the back end there because I like interacting with it as a team, but like this kind of hodgepodge setup that I have is just not ideal. I'd rather have it in a front end like Naloco, which can only be synced via whale sync. And just so you know, I mean, WhaleSync does have a lot to it, right? From a pricing standpoint, it comes at the solo pricing, the startup pricing, the business price, and then an enterprise plan. And all of it, these are reasonable in my opinion, right? You have 5,000 records in sync. So for example, if you're a small agency and you wanna internally use Notion and then have a front end, you can totally share this and utilize it because then with no loco, it's a pretty scalable option for sharing that data that way. And they have scalable record options too, which is really cool. So if you only want certain features and connectors, you don't have to go up to the startup plan if you don't need to. If you just need these solo connectors and wanna go up to like 20,000 records, for example, you totally can. And they have the ability to connect with Airtable, Google Sheets, Member Stack, Notion, Webflow, Supabase, Stripe, all of your very popular tools out there. A couple other ideas that come to mind definitely would be anything you want to be client facing so you can put it in that front end, like potential content review. Obviously we have that internal CMS that I showcased inside of here, but also imagine this being not my internal calendar, but calendar that only clients can see. Because with these type of front end systems, you can filter it. So it's like, oh, I'm logged in, I'm connected to this client account, then I can only see my client work that's connected to me. That's kind of ideal in my perspective versus what we got Notion, which is, I have to make a million pages. It's so, so much work. It's, I'm not a fan of it personally. Like you saw that Webflow was an integration. If you definitely want to have like a Webflow integration to something like Airtable that then can go to a front end like Noloco, that's a cool one too. Obviously I focused on Notion because of who you guys are watching this YouTube channel, but all of the different platforms on there are on the table and they work really easy. So with that being said, if you want to try it out, please make sure to go and check out the link down below. WhaleSync is going to be a game changer for you if you are trying to sync data outside of your Notion into ecosystems that will work more smoothly. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.